how you doing how's your mama doing like I'm doing this video tonight where I'm asking how it's, 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 the video is going to be called how much how, how far and how much and the reason why and plus it's going to be how long but the question is like how much I say how far will people take it to make something of themselves make a name for themselves how much what how much will they put time in there like how much time they're gonna put into it and how long it's gonna take like how far will people take cyberbullying how much how much how no the second is how um, it's like how far will people take cyberbullying and how long before they really pass a real law on it like really put you in jail like you up forever I wonder how f far people take this cyberbullying and how long before they really make us a, a law out of it because I'm asking these questions and people, and people don't got an answer to it because people don't know the answer to it oh you can sit there and say oh I for you I know the answer is not going to be for too long it's going to be too, it's going to be long because people are dragging their feet and y'all believe in this bullshit this bullshit about oh talk to your congressman congress people ain't going to do nothing oh talk to your president the president can't do nothing it's not about the president or your congressman because you know your congressman ain't going to do shit but stuff line his pockets like how far how, how much more suffering do people got to take from the government how far are they going to take this and how long are we going to have how long are we going to suffer Y'all sitting up saying, not surely, oh, not long. It's going to be long because people are, dra uh, people are dragging their fucking feet. And the reason why I'm asking, these, uh, and the reason why I'm saying this is because you can write to your congressman and all he's going to hear, she's going to do is tear up the paper and say, well, fuck it. Same with Obama can't do nothing because you know how House of Congress is. They ain't going to sit there, no, 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 but y'all put the blame on it. Y'all got to realize Obama's just a puppet. He's just a scapegoat for everybody to put the blame on. That's all he is. So you can sit there and think, oh, Obama started the, another war. No, it's not him starting the war. It's the fuckers that's really controlling the country. Them fuckers up in the House of Congress or House of Representatives that controls the country. I learned this. I learned this from Pre Professor Griff. He said, the people with money does not have power. People with money does not have power. It's the people with... It's the people with power that doesn't need money. And that's how he says it. That's how he put it. He said, people with power doesn't need money. And people with money cannot get power. They say money makes the world go round. But it's like this, how long y'all gonna sit there and let, the, let your government fuck you over? How much you gonna take? How long you gonna take it for? Because all I'm seeing right now is a bunch of motherfuckers. We're gonna boycott. That ain't gonna help. All they're gonna do is call the fucking popo and lock your ass up in them conservation camps called Fusion. Fuse. So you really protesting for nothing. Every day you see, every time I turn on the news, I hate the media for real. I hate them so much. I turn on the TV, and I'm seeing people get pepper sprayed. I'm seeing them get beat to death. And y'all say, oh, we're going to protest tomorrow. Okay, y'all going to protest tomorrow. And y'all going to die for something they not going to fix. And that's how it is. How much? How long? How far would it go? Y'all can sit there trying to put me down. You're a stupid ass motherfucker. But you ask, ask this question. If I'm a stupid motherfucker, then why are you watching this video? If I'm a 
like I get a lot of people calling me nigger if I'm a nigger why are you watching this video you can't sit there and say oh I stumbled across this you can't say that I stumbled across this because every time I see somebody put a comment saying oh I was looking up something then I stumbled across this fucked up video that is all played out you can't if you don't like how, like how long before people realize that they got a fucking choice on what to watch on YouTube or Facebook cause you know you can watch videos on Facebook how long before people realize they got a choice to watch whatever the fuck they want they don't have to watch a specific video they don't have to watch a specific person like I'm not always gonna watch an Aesop video I might see him pet put he might have post one up and I might have missed it or must destroy all he might put something up and I might have missed it or grandpa angry grandpa I might he might post something up and I might have missed it or his son post something up and I might have missed it. I'm not always gonna watch their videos. People you got a choice to watch whatever the fuck you want but but how much you gonna put put an effort into trolling and hating like does that make you does that make you an adult when you troll? Like I don't see why people call themselves trolls because trolls is nothing but a fairy tale creature from a mother goose story. Why would you call yourself a fucking fairy tale character out of a fiction book? That's the question, the main question for haters and trolls. Like like how much like what makes what makes you want to get online and bully somebody to commit suicide I was like what did like cause one thing you, I'm asking is like what did that person ever do to you you can sit there and say oh I hate them for what reason you gotta hate somebody for a reason you can say oh well I just don't like them the video sucks well the video sucks if the video sucks so much then why watch his, his or her videos that is the question that people need to ask themselves because I'm asking I'm gonna keep asking this question in videos certain probably certain videos why do people why do people tr hate put hatred on certain people I'm, I'm sitting there watching this goth girl and I feel bad for her because I've seen there's been people down her putting her down because she's a goth but y'all go to the next person that is a goth and say oh I love you and kiss their ass but you just put down this other goth a few minutes ago like why it's like it's like I don't get it. it's like oh I hate goth people goth people are gay and faggots and they use and people say that like no offense to homosexuals but that's what they say to certain some goths it's like oh you're nothing but a faggot you ain't nothing but a gay ass you ain't nothing but fruity in the pants but you go to the next goth oh I love you you look so fine you just call this other person a faggot a gay and fruity in the pants and say I'll oh, get goths are fagging fruity in the pants and shit but you over here kissing this other goth person's ass like for what why why downplay why sit there and talk all this shit to one person which there's because I've seen people make seen certain people make the same videos like if they're if, let's say Joe Nation See, Joe Nation and Shay Dawson made the same video, but they did it in their own way. They talking about the same deal. And y'all go to Joe Nation and say, you're a punk ass motherfucker. I don't see why you on here. But you go to Shane Dawson, which did the same video as Joe Nation. But you kiss Joe but you kiss Shane Dawson's ass. Oh, I love you. This video is bravo, bravo. You just told Joe Nation to kiss your ass and burn in hell for all that shit. 
but you kissing Shane Dawson's ass. So like, for real, they just did the same video, but two different people did it their way. Like, I don't get haters. Like, really, like, how do you hate somebody that you don't even know? And how long are you going to hate on this person? Like, I can't, I can't walk up to a random person and say, like, I hate you. You're a motherfucker. They're going to look at me crazy. They're going to think something's wrong with me. So when you do that trolling shit, you walking up into a com you walking up to a complete stranger that you don't know who the hell they are. They can be somebody from anonymous, not dogging out anonymous, but they can be somebody from anonymous, and you won't even know it. You can say the worst shit to this person, and they'll fuck your life up. It could be another hack. It could be a hacker, a great hacker, and. You can say you a motherfucker. I kick your ass and hope you burn your head and all this shit. And he can fuck your shit. He or she can fuck your shit up. It could be somebody from the FBI, CIA, or, or any law enforcement, and they can track this shit back to you and fucking arrest you. You don't know these people online. Once you see these videos, your opinions. You don't. Th you don't put your opinions about the person that's doing the video. See you. See, you skip the topic. You skip whatever the person is saying. And you go straight for the person. Oh, you're dumb. You're stupid. The person didn't say, tell me what you think about me. They're asking, tell me what you think about the topic. But when you say you're ignorant, you're stupid, you're dumb, you're not getting the stories. Like, if I'm, like I've got a lot of people... And I did a video about this girl Annie Keene and this motherfucker where I was like, she likes sucking black dick. Trying to insult me, it's like, what does black people got to do with this? All I'm saying is her titties real or fake or whatever, just trying to get the information on her. Not stalking her, just like, what's up with this girl? She come on the scene and she disappears. But what does black people got to do with this girl? And that's all it is, too. It's like, do you hate? It's like, do you hate the person that's doing this video? If you, if you dislike what they got to say or just dislike what they all about, then you don't have to watch this shit. I know I'm starting to sound like the other people to say, oh, if you don't like what they these people, then you don't have to watch the video. You don't have to have nothing to do with them. Just move on. And that's and people should take their advice and just move the fuck on. Because it gets you nowhere when you sit up on the same channel subscribing to them, commenting, you're a motherfucker, you're gay, you're a bitch, you're a blah, 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 so on and so forth. How much, how much, it's like, how far will you take it? Do you want to be blamed for making this person commit suicide? Because it seems like they starting to do that a lot. They starting to look at, like, like, oh, okay, I think we should arrest these people for... Like for real, they looking at it, and, they, and some of these places are taking this shit seriously. But it's like, but I think people need to stop doing all this bullshit hating because it get us nowhere. You sit there and you fight among God. It's 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 fucked up that y'all will fight among people, among people, but you won't do nothing about gov the government fucking you over. What makes the people so important to talk shit about, but you can't do that towards the government? Is it that, are you scared of the government, or uh, are you, do you work for the government? Because one thing is, there's been people that work for the government that says, I hate my fucking job, these motherfuckers are stupid, and all this and that. But, but when you come on YouTube, Facebook, or anywhere else on any social networking site, and you write all this bullshit, fuck you, I hate you, you ain't shit, I hope you die. Why would you say that to a complete stranger? What did that person ever do to you? How far would you take it? How long are you going to do this for? And how much effort are you going to put it in, put yourself into? If you have all this time where has to write a hate note, or a hate comment, or a hate video response, and you have all that energy, 
why can't you put that into something constructive like why can't you go out and boycott against what the government's doing to the people why can't you go out and boycott against Obamacare why can't you go out and boycott for a pedophile to that's being let out on the street why is nobody doing this but they want to sit up on YouTube they want to sit up on Facebook they want to sit up on Twitter and write all this hatred shit but they will sit up there and say I hate politics but you set up on you you set up on all these social networking sites dogging out somebody you don't even know but you say you hate politics instead of hating on people that's on the internet why don't you take that shit to the and hate on the politicians why don't you sit up there and say go to the, your your how the capital and just start cussing motherfuckers out saying the governor of this state is bullshit he's full of shit he is a motherfucker or she's a motherfucker and kiss my ass they really ain't nothing because all y'all do is really rob the people of their money why don't you instead of going up on the, on Facebook Twitter YouTube MySpace uh, Tumblr or whatever fucking site you go on or chat site why would you sit your whole time wasting on the internet bullying somebody where you can bully the fucking government that's what I would have did like you don't see my videos like like the videos that you see what I do now is actually based on incidents like why did this person do it why did they why what made them go on why ain't nobody taking up for the little guy why do these people cyber bully why don't nobody fight for the fight against like they say you can't fight city high but when you, you, they say you can't fight city hall but when people come together like a fucking fist you can knock city hall on his ass same with, same with your governor. Everybody come together and knock he or she down on his ass. It's not about hating on a complete stranger over the internet. It's about you wasting your life hating on somebody you don't even know. Like, I like the questions, like the questions I ask: How much? How far? And how long? How much you gonna do it, how far you gonna take it, and how long you gonna do it. Because one thing is, you know, to me your life is pathetic when you sit up on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr dogging out somebody you don't even know. That means your life is meaningless. That's it's meaningless. Like what's that what's that statement that somebody said? Out of 10 billion sperms, that was the one that got through. 10 million burn, sperms, 1,000 sperms, whatever. And that was the one that got through. And, and y'all need to sit down and think about this, man. Is it even worth it? Is it worth going on the internet and dogging somebody out that you don't even know? Is it? Cause to me it's not even worth it man I'm not going to sit up here and like go to somebody's YouTube channel and say well fuck you you full of shit I'm going to see what they got to say if they got something to, something good to say I'm going to I'm going like, to say I'm going to agree or disagree I'm not going to sit up here you're a dumbass you're full of shit I hate what you got to say why am why I going to do this? like for what, what why is it why is that so important? Like, why is people so obsessed with Facebook? Like, Facebook is just a just a uh, just a social network site, like, just like fucking Facebook. Just like I mean, Facebook is just like MySpace, but different. Same with Twitter. People are so obsessed with Facebook, Twitter, so much, man, they can never live their lives. You see people fuck their lives over because they spend all their lives on Twitter and Facebook. Their life is wasting away on Facebook and Twitter. Well, you do videos on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, that's just to tell people to wake the fuck up. YouTube, I make money on because I have AdSense on it. I said, I do these videos to earn money plus tell the truth. I'm going to do as much as I can. I'm going to do as far, take as far as I go and do as, high, as long as I can do it. It's all about the three questions. How far, how much, and how long. 
ask these questions ask you ask, ask the questions yourself man just ask the questions is it even worth it fucking your life over because you think you the baddest motherfucker on the block see I don't go around fucking with people on the inter internet no more because I got to the point where it's it's stupid it's stupid like it really is stupid it's very stupid because Like I, I just I can't get it, get over people acting so fucking foolish just to make themselves look good. Like for real. Like I always sit up here and I wonder. I sit up here and I always wonder why do people do what they do. To me, I think either their life is so fucked up. Like, if you got bullied in school and you think the best way, the best thing to do is to come on the internet and bully somebody else, then your life is pathetic, man. Don't be the victim. I say one thing is not, don't, not being the victim. It's like, you can, you the victim of being bullied, but don't go from a, bu from a, from a victim to a bu fucking bully. Because when you go from victim to bully, that means your life is jack shit. And that's all it is, man. It's the three question. How much how far and how long when you answer ask these questions ask these questions yourself like how much I'm, how, how far would I take this how much I'm going to put into this or how much time I'm going to put in this and how long would I do it is it even worth it And that's all it is. Is what? I just don't get people. Because it, I just don't get people no more. Because all they do is want to sit up on Facebook and cyber bully somebody, or they want to sit up on Twitter and fuck with somebody. That's all it is. It's not. It. It's, it's just don't get people where. Like, I know I'm going to get a lot of haters. You're stupid. If I'm stupid, why am I so stupid? Why am I stupid? Why are you calling a complete stranger stupid? That's the question. Why would you call somebody that you don't know stupid? Did I? Because one thing is, I don't know you. You don't know me. I'm not fucking your girl, I'm not fucking your man, I'm not doing nothing wrong to you, but minding my own damn business. But when you sit up on on these sites bullying somebody, that tells me that your life is worthless. Worthless. Like I and also I sit up here and I wonder about how how far would the government fuck us over? How much would they do it? And how long they're going to do it? And y'all sit up here. And I'm sitting up here looking. And I'm sitting up here looking. That all these people that are. Some of the, some of the people that are in middle class. Taking up for them. Like are you kidding me? I was like as your rent. Going up or your proper taxes. Is growing up. As you're like all this property taxes and rent going up, why would you still take up for a rich person? 
Oh, they worked hard for that money. That money is going coming out of your pocket into theirs. So how long are you gonna keep? So how long are you gonna keep on be believing that? Oh, they worked hard for that money. How long are you gonna be start believing in that? How much have you believed in? And how far did you take it? Because all you're doing is taking up for people that you don't even know. Oh, Donald Trump is it? You don't know Donald Trump. You watch his ass on TV. Oh, I love Rihanna. You don't know who the fuck Rihanna is. You watch her on TV and listen to her music. Oh, I love Chris Brown. The motherfucker beats women and you don't know this motherfucker. As, as long as y'all take up for some people, the people that's, that's got all the money, that's taking all your money, you're going to sit up there and bullshit everybody because you ain't got nothing else to do. That's all it is to it, man. It just bothers the shit out of me where people take up for the people people take up from the rich and they sitting up there living high on the hall sipping my times and margaritas taking trips around the world while your bitch ass is sitting up there going bro your bitch like you gotta get have all like you can't play like you sitting up there oh rich folks are so hard on on getting their money but your lights got cut off oh they did work hard for the money your water got cut off Oh, they did. So they worked very good for that money. Okay, your heat just got cut off. What's I said? You're very close getting your ass cut, getting your ass kicked out of your fucking home. So don't take up for people that don't give two shits of a fuck for, fuck of you. Cause that's all it is, man. Instead of sitting up there kissing these rich folks' ass, why don't you get off your ass and start? Telling them to pay all this damn taxes that they 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 don't hardly pay taxes. Oh, Obama making them pay taxes now. Yeah, if they make over a million dollars, they got to pay a lot of taxes. But you got to remember, they're gonna get it back. And and I, it just pisses me off that you like people will sit up there and look at celebrities as God or rich folks as God. Well, they sitting on their ass not giving a fuck about you. They might sign a few autographs or take a few pictures. I say, ugh. And then they, once they get away, they burnt the clothes they was wearing because they was touching you and you touched them. They burn the clothes, they take a bath, scrub themselves down and get your odor, your, your touch off of them. And y'all still want to glamorize them. I ain't motherfuckers. You can kiss ass and think these people are gods. While they kicking your ass off into the street. They don't live up high on the hog and let you die off in the street. Because they don't give a fuck. But like I said, man. It's all about how far and how long will people. It's all about how much and how far and how long will people. Is going to believe in shit. Are gonna do shit, or gonna take up for shit, or gonna do the wrong shit, or do the right thing. Stop cyberbullying. How long is it gonna take you for stop cyberbullying somebody? That's that's a question that people need to understand. I'm tired of waking. I'm tired of waking up every day, and people and checking my YouTube page. You need to delete your profile. You need to delete your channel. You're stupid. If I'm stupid, why are you commenting? Because I ain't going on your page and saying you're stupid. You're a dumbass. You're a piece of shit. Your mama don't love you. Your father don't love you. Your parents hated you so much they killed themselves just to get the fuck away from you. That is not me. That's you. You have the... I say like you have the power to do the right thing, but you wasted... By sitting up there dogging somebody out that you don't even fucking know. I hide behind these pictures of Wookiees because fuckers don't know how to be right. So when they sit up there and call me a nigger and I'm light as a motherfucker, how you gonna call a white person a nigger? That is the question. How much do you 
how, like it's like it's it's like white it's like I'm getting a bunch of like I'm not saying all the white folks but half the white folks I'm getting are calling me nigger and I'm lighter than a black person so how does that make me a nigger it doesn't come even close So when you hear my deep voice, there's white folks with deep voices. But you don't call them niggers. You say, oh, you got a deep voice. You sound like bad white. And that's a white person. But you call me a nigger. Now you don't even know if I am white. Don't even know if I was white. And you call me a nigger. I'm not a nigga, that's for one thing. Nigga is a stupid, stupid ass word. It's something that white folks came up with back in the day in history to put down black folks. Black folks didn't know what nigger was. It was, they didn't know what nigger was till they started hearing it a lot because that's all they knew about was nigger. They didn't get a, like, before they even got a name, come here nigger, get that nigger, nigger, this nigger, that. That's all they knew was nigger. Until they start giving them names, nigga Joe, nigga George, nigga Fred. Until black folks started calling Pete white folks crackers. Look at that cracker, look at that cracker, look at that cracker. And I'm tired of people saying, oh, black folks started racism. No, black folks did not start racism. It was white folks started racism. But white, but black folks caught hell for it. But that's all it is, man. It's the it's the three main questions: how far, how much, and how long. You ask these questions in any situation, or you ask this person how much, how long, and how far, and they will be like, uh, 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 and they'll fuck them up. And that's how it is. Well, this has been Afro Joe taking like it. T.I.S. man. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And tell me what you think about the topic, not about me. That's all it is. It's the topic. And keep it real, man. Instead of cyberbullying somebody on the internet, why don't y'all bully the government? Seems like that's the best thing to do is to bully the government. At least the government can't do no worse than what they're doing now. We need to come together as a fist and knock government on the government on their ass. Instead of sitting up here making terrorist threats, because it's kind of stupid. It's dumb. I got a black neighbor that made terrorist threats and shit, saying she's going to kill my family and shit. I don't need no motherfuckers over the internet to call me a terrorist because one thing is put this shit on, the, on my video boy the FBI will be all over your ass like white on rice and the paper plate in the snowstorm that's all it is I don't get that's one thing I don't get about people they make all these terrorist threats terrorist does not come with a color or age or gender or sexuality doesn't come with nothing it doesn't have a face same with racism But that's how it is, man. Ask the three questions: how much, how long, how far, and it will fuck. It will mess. It will take take the meaning out of certain things, but it will fuck a lot of people up. And ask these three questions yourself, to yourself. Like, man, I wonder how long will I go keep doing this? Or how much I, how much trouble did I get in? And how far will I'm gonna take it? But that's how it is, man. Just keep it real with people. Holler at me later.